Hi, I'm Mark from BHM Farm Equipment. In continuing with our compact tractor basics video series, let's talk about the engine in your compact tractor. The vast majority of compact tractors have diesel engines, and that's great because I think diesel engines are awesome and they're a great engine for a compact tractor. Let's talk about a few basics that you might not know if you're not familiar with diesel engines. The first thing to know about diesel engines is that they require a preheat to start, or they start better with a preheat cycle being done. Typically, this is done through glow plugs. There'll be a switch on the key that allows the glow plugs to do a preheat cycle before starting. I'll demonstrate what the light looks like on this coyote. That is your preheat indicator light. And once that turns off, the preheat cycle has been completed and you can start your tractor. It is acceptable in colder temperatures to do two preheats, two preheat cycles of the engine before starting to allow for easier startup. It's just something you're gonna to have to get a feel for based off your climate and your individual tractor. Once the tractor is started, it is recommended to let the tractor warm up at least a little bit before using it. Again, this will depend on the temperature of the day and your individual tractor, but it is recommended to let it run for a bit before revving up the full throttle and getting to work. The same can be said at the end of the day when you're done using it. This is especially true if your tractor is turbocharged. It is not recommended to use a turbocharged tractor hard and then immediately shut it off. Letting the tractor idle for say 15 to 30 seconds before shutting it off is recommended for good turbo life. At the dealership, we get two common questions about diesel engines. The first is what kind of fuel I can run in it. On or off-road diesel is fine to run in your tractor. We have the same fuel, off-road diesel just has a red dye in it. The other thing to keep in mind is if you live in a colder climate, when it starts getting toward the colder winter months, it is recommended to run an anti-gel additive with your fuel. The anti-gel additive will prevent fuel from gelling. Now you can't just simply dump this in your tank. Once it's mixed with the fuel, the tractor should be run or even driven to get a good mixture in the fuel tank and also through the fuel lines all the way up to the injection pump. The second question we get about your diesel engine is what happens during a regen? Now, this question is only applicable to tractors that are above about 25 horsepower, which, have, which require additional emissions to be added onto the engine. In the Coyote world, that's a DPF filter and then a regen cycle to burn off that DPF filter. Generally speaking, we recommend that you do not try to inhibit a regen or force a regen. We recommend that you run the tractor at sufficient RPMs, work it hard, that will elongate the time between regens that are necessary and just continue using your tractor when it decides to regen. Letting the tractor do its thing is your best bet during a regen process. I hope you found this video helpful about your diesel engine. Check out the other basics videos in our series where we talk more about compact tractor basics. Thanks for watching.